with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. My name is Jack Clark. I'm with Dewarks Incorporated. Mr. Radford has won a 19-inch RCA television set. There's absolutely no cost or obligation. He won't be asked to buy anything. The only thing that we ask is after 30 days of watching the television set, he return a survey form directly to RCA telling him how he liked the set and answer some questions. Do you think he'd be interested in that? Okay. Dewarks. Okay. Well, all of our income is, so, so you understand, all of our income is derived from the product manufacturer, okay? We, we don't take any money. There's, there's nothing to buy, okay? He won't be asked to buy anything. The only thing that we ask is that he does fill out after 30 days. He fill out a survey. It contains about 150 questions, and they, they ask him how he likes the product in general and uh, how the remote control works, whether the TV is, is good quality in general, okay? And uh, currently, we, we've got about 40 sets. That, that that's what will happen. And then the survey forms are filled out and returned. We don't ask for anything. You're, you're not asked to buy anything. And what we do do on occasion, if the person likes the product, we'll put them on a list for, for future products. So consequently, there's a possibility over the years of getting like a TV, VCR, stereo, et cetera, et cetera. And it, it's theirs to keep. They don't have to return it or anything like that. We got Jack over here is uh, doing a little reverse that we have. He calls people up that have wanted, felon, uh, wanted felons. They have warrants for a burglary and robbery and what have you. They're active people in our area and repeat offenders. What we do is we call them on the phone and tell them they want a big 19-inch color TV with remote control. We appeal to their greed. We have a callback number. They call it into a pre-recording where they leave their name and address. So what the whole school, the story turns out to be is they call back, tell us where they're staying and what time we can come there to find them. So that way we don't have to go out there and waste manpower by looking for someone and see if they run or not. We appeal to the greed to come out and we snap them up. Oftentimes we have them waiting at the curb with a cordless phone directing us in how to get to them. We got any setups? Uh, we got that one for sure. He wants this TV real bad. He called me four times over the weekend. And I just called and he's going to be home at 10 after 5. Okay, it's good. ITS drugs, but he's got a lot of priors like a lewdness with a minor and uh, drugs and resisting arrest and parole violation, burglary. Good. One of these days. We're going to pick my boy up and he's going to go to Camp Happyland and play some volleyball. <laughs> It's right here, George. Okay. Eight king right three. Us. Eight king five. Okay. We arrived. Have you set up? Uh, yeah, we're between building M and L. Copy. We're in the uh, northeast corner of the complex. You guys just want to wait right around the side and then come as soon as we uh, two two four. Which one? It should be the second one from the end. Building across. I want to get on the back. Hey, James, going to be famous. Doors open. Doors open. Jack Clark. How you doing, sir? We, we had a little misunderstanding. We're police officers. You're under arrest. Turn around. Huh? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. What? 
Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. It's you the know, police. Don't you fight. know he had a warrant. It's the police. It's the police. Relax. It's the police, okay? Just relax. He knew he had the warrant. He needs to get it taken care of. Relax, all right? Oh. Don't wrestle. For what? The warrant? It's for drugs. Okay? You got a drug warrant. You got anything on you we need to know about? No. Any machine guns, grenades? Oh, my God. The bad news is you don't get a TV. That's right. That's an empty box. And the good news is you're going to Camp Happy Land to play some volleyball. <laughs> okay, Ron, just talking to her. How come you didn't go take care of your warrant? Your warrant. I just got a new job, sir. A hey. couple of times you didn't take care of it. You know that, uh... I We're going to trick you or something, right? You know this is going to happen. This is a heavy-ass TV, 27-inch, remote uh, control. Give me the key. <sighs> well, at least this is one way you're getting your warrant taken care of, right? It's one way you're looking at it. Any gun weapons back there, please? No. We're okay. clear. Go, Go ahead. all the way to the rear of the van. Let's sit down. There's a seat back there. Go all the way to the rear of the van. Here, brother. I'll go back there with him. Okay. I wish we would have been there. Want to open that up, bro? Good job, Jay. Hey, by the way, Dorks is screwed backwards. I enjoy working with dogs, and I enjoy police work. So it's the best of both worlds for us. Uh, there's a lot of uh, advantages to uh, working in canine um, as opposed to patrol. Uh, even though we are uh, basically a patrol unit that uh, has a police dog uh, as our partner, uh, we get to experience our searches for suspects outside the valley, uh, escape prisoners. Uh, we get involved a little bit more, which makes uh, the whole job a little bit more interesting. Ah, good boy! Ah, good boy! Stand still! Hands up! Stand still! Nine! Hands up! Nine! Step away from my dog. So cool, boy. Okay, let's go ahead and work on a reasonable force exercise. Blind. Please, officer, stop our semi dog. Please, officer, stop our semi dog. Blind. Basically, what you're seeing here is uh, a reasonable force <laughs> exercise. We train under the concept of reasonable force, and that is if an agitator or suspect surrenders, the dog's not to bite him. Hey, keep that dog away from me. Please, officer, come here. Put on. Well, what the dog should do is he should run right in and stay with the man and bark. That time Mike went in got a little bit dirty. Stand still! Fool you, stop! That wasn't too bad. He went in and got just a little bit. He nipped just a little bit, but that wasn't too bad. Ike and I have begin been together two years right now. Uh, Ike's four years old. And uh, we're just starting to click as a, as a, a, a team. We work so close together uh, that uh, we start to think alike in a lot of ways. Uh, we live together. Nobody else feeds the dog except me. Nobody else brushes the dog except me. I'm it. I'm his master, and basically he'd lay down his life for me without uh, hesitation. I still don't know exactly the full details, but uh, apparently uh, vice detectives uh, either arresting the person or they had already arrested the person and uh, escaped from its uh, from their custody. Uh, misdemeanor charge of uh, soliciting a white female adult uh, uh, last seen wearing a green top and a black skirt um, in the area of Washington, Mojave. Huh? Want to go to work? Huh? Let's go find the bad guy. Huh? Howdy. Uh, what's, his, what's his name? He's over there. What about the third house on down. Okay, Tom, which way uh, did she run? 
ran that way. Crazy. This dead end right here. Okay. Don't you don't know. No, you saw her run down this yeah. way, and that's yeah. it. Okay. Where is she? 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 Anybody in your backyard? Whose backyard is this? Huh? Anybody else back here? Where is he? Find him. Back here. Please, officer, come on out there. I want to send in the dog. Please, officer, come on out. I want to send in the dog. Hold on. Hold on. She's hurting me. She's hurting me. Quit moving. Stand still. Stand still. Face. Ike, face. What? Control K95. She's in custody. Control K95. She's in custody. Is that her? Good deal. Ah, it's a fine boy. Good boy! Ah, good boy! Good boy! Good boy, I Ah, fine boy! Oh, good boy! Ah, fine boy! Ah, fine boy! Fine boy, I Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Ah, good boy! I don't think we had it as a white female adult, and I think it's changed to a male dressed in female clothing. Okay, go. Hey! What? What? Let him go, let him go. What? What? This is a good boy. Okay. Um, that's not what it appears to be? No. No? That's not what it appears to be. <laughs> okay. That's a good boy, Ike. You found that bad guy? Huh? Or whatever? You found him? Huh? That's a good boy, Hato. What a dog smells when he's on a search, we've termed it more or less a fear smell that the person gives off. Uh, you can't colorize it where you can see it coming off a person's body, but when a person's uh, nervous and scared, uh, of course, their adrenaline's going to be flowing more. They're going to be sweating more. And as a team, I can read the dog uh, like Ike. Uh, that was such a strong alert where he was just pulling me along to get to it. Uh, I knew that it, uh, that it had to be the suspect, but oh, Ike, he did a good job. Got an alert real good. Come here, Ike. Last week... The bike patrol issued 104 citations for misdemeanor traffic violations and made 33 arrests. And this is a summary of our report. We had 98 calls, took 76 reports, uh, wrote 33 misdemeanor citations, 71 traffic citations. We made 91 car stops, 63 pedestrian stops, wrote 14 FIs, made three felony arrests, and then 30 gross misdemeanor and misdemeanor arrests. So uh, keep up the good work. Uh, to stay active out there and remember now that the holidays approach a lot of these guys are going to be the ones snatching the purses doing the robberies so and plus with the colder weather they're going to be going inside so we'll get more in custody too that's exactly right so let's get over to convention center get our bikes and uh, head out if somebody passes us in one of the other two travel lanes their stereos blasting they're drinking there's a lot of times we can't get over there if we're in a patrol car we're stuck in this lane on these bikes, we can maneuver around and catch up to those people. Plus, this is the real slow patrol. In a car, slow patrol is 35 miles an hour. On a bike, it's less than 15, 10 miles an hour. So we see a heck of a lot more and we can hear things that you can in a car. Much better contact. Get our point across much better, I think. Elbow, where are you going? Have ID? Yeah, no, I've got yeah. an army, but I won't touch anymore. How old are you? 
Okay. You, you guys from here? Yeah. Don't move. Just stay right where you're at. Okay, ma'am. Stand down a minute. Anything else besides this? Yes, he does. You got it? Yes. You want to run him? Yeah. I got the phone. Here's, uh, let me get her name. Let me start running him. Let's get those over here. Who's been in jail before? Anybody? I have. For what? I was, uh, busted in a bad place. That there is all taken care of. Yeah, you, are you a wretched ex felon? Okay, how about you? you uh, for what? Where were you busted? I was busted. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I just got out of jail a couple months back ago. I got till the 18th of December to pay my fine. And where we, what was it for? Uh, it was for being in a cocaine house. But I, I so you got arrested for possession. Are you registered here in our state? Yeah. Hey, do you show him being a, a rich sex felon? For burglary. Attempted burglary. Okay, when you're convicted of a felony in another state. Yes, sir. When you get in this state, you have to register within 48 hours. ID number. Okay. Regardless of whether you're still on paper or not. So you should should be registered. Number two, that knife in your in your pocket. Those are illegal here. Butterfly knives. Those are felonies. Let's go uh, A, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you got to with that. Stand up there, sir. Let's put your phones down. Put your hands back. Okay, like I said, you got to register here, and those are illegal, those knives. Let go of your hands. Yes, you are. Go ahead and have a seat. Sit down over there. Pick that up, please. Take it. You want to get it on it? Empowerment. Empowerment. By the Atlantic Hotel. Stop receiving. Have a seat. We got one wallet. Yes, I do. Right here. Give it to her. Give it to her, please, or give it to her now. Okay, have a seat. Okay. It's got $5 in there. Control 552. Saying no means no. 468, two times at 3025 the Boulevard South. We need bike five. Have a seat right there. Do you want him to have a cigarette or what? No, I don't. Unless he's giving it to her. No, sir. No, I said no. Sit down. No. She no. says no cigarette. That means no cigarette. Do you understand? Do you understand? Get my you... face. Okay. Just sit here and relax. Laura, come here. Are we done with Laura? Yes, we she are. Get out of here, Laura. No, he's sitting. We got him cuffed now, but... How long have you been here in Las Vegas? A week, a year? A week and year. I didn't say nothing about my lawyer, okay? Okay, that's good. Cool. So you we'll didn't open for possession of dangerous weapons. That's correct. That's correct. When we were riding down the, the boulevard, we saw these two loitering on the bus bus bench. When we came around behind them, we saw the butterfly knife, the handle sticking out of the guy's back pocket. So we made the stop. And uh, turns out he is an ex-felon out of Florida. He hasn't registered yet. He's been here about three months. Um, Maybe they took it out of the He wasn't real cooperative, as you can see. So he's under arrest for possession of dangerous weapon and ex-felon failure to register. One thing's going good.